if you are smoking you may die in 20 30 years but if you are doing fno you may die next day remember this of course i have tried fno i have i have made money in fno then i burned my money in fno and then i learned this lesson that uh, it is difficult uh, for me uh, to make money in fno let me tell you i must have written at least 10 songs warning all these investors to stay away from all this uh, short term things and trading and fno and all but nobody listen all my stocks fell 20% and 25% even 30% so that is part and parcel of this business so that uh, does not disturb me at all i have learned this uh, it's okay 20 30% fall in this market is small and mid cap is nothing it's a froth in sme no doubt about it but the same froth you will find in uh, secondary market also psu should do well i think as long as this indian economy we cannot imagine i think uh, this 30 40 trillion economy of amrit kal uh, without uh, contribution of psus so i think their future is very bright but obviously this fall rise and fall will keep on coming in the market this froth will keep on settling and uh, one has to be prepared for that then there is no problem mero ko lag raha some revolution is going to happen in india you know some animal spirit is awakening up and something big is going to happen even after the after the election after the new government is in place markets are hitting an all time high and people are getting interested in the markets like never before and in this situation who better than to take advice from the market veteran himself mr vijay kedia hi sir thank you so much for coming for this interview sensex recently touched 75000 points and you know lot of people are coming to the market and markets are evolving at a rapid pace right but when you first formulated your idea of picking stocks which you defined it calling it by the by the name smile so has your investment philosophy changed and for new investors could you please explain what you mean when you say you follow the smile philosophy so first of all actually smile formula Uh, I created the word later on. First, I started investing in the market, and later on, I realized. I looked back, and I found that maybe I am following this formula. It came by instinct. Let me tell you, I did not read it anywhere. Nobody taught me. Also, whatever I observed, whatever I uh, learned from watching people, observing people, so it happened with me. I did not do it. It happened later on. I realized this. Maybe I am following this formula because I. you know compiled all the things what i am doing then i found it is fitting in this smile formula that is small in size medium in experience large in aspiration and extra large market potential in simple words like i am investing in small and mid cap so that means the smallest company or maybe may the medium grade company in that uh, vertical and the management should have a 15 20 years of experience so that they have fallen at, le- at least two three four times and they have learned their lessons and uh, secondly the large in aspiration that a regional company should have an aspiration to become a national and from national to multinational something like this and an extra large market potential they have sh- should have a immense market opportunity like uh, as i always say that i don't want to uh, you know i'm going for a, i usually like a fish in the ocean not a crocodile in the pond this is what i'm doing for myself and so far it has been helping me and i haven't changed my f- formula at all as on date while i'm talking to you and you mentioned ki you look at small companies and currently uh, as you all already know the hype in small and mid cap funds uh, sebi has said ki there might be fraud in the market so personally since a huge chunk of your portfolio is in small and mid cap do you see any issue there in personally my portfolio by and large i don't find any issues because i think fundamentally companies are doing uh, good and uh, going forward i think they should also perform well so i am not worried about them uh, although when market fell uh, you know uh, last month all my stocks fell 20% and 25% even 30% so that is part and parcel of this business so that uh, does not disturb me at all i have learned this uh, it's okay 20 30% fall in this market is small and mid cap is nothing it's okay sebi is little worried about mutual fund not being able to liquid liquidate their uh, portfolio in small cap fund so they are doing all this uh, stress testing and also have you done stress testing in your own portfolio because you invest in small company i don't want to do any kind of stress testing i don't want to take any stress i know if i will uh, because i usually buy in uh, percentage usually uh, i so um, i am like you can uh, you can call it uh, वो महाभारत में कौन था अभिमन्यु हु नोज हाउ टू एंटर डज इन नो एग्जिट सो माई एग्जिट डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन मी माई एग्जिट डिपेंड्स ऑन द कंपनी एंड एज वेल एज विद द मार्केट वेन देर इज अ बुल मार्केट आई मे हैव एन एग्जिट अदरवाइज आई आई डोंट हैव एन एग्जिट एज पर माई विश 
Also, uh, which is a one very interesting trend we're seeing is in the SME IP IPO space. So they have raised a record number of uh, funding through IPOs and you know, a lot of people, if influencer in Instagram and uh, uh, Telegram, they're promoting this uh, very small company. So what is your opinion? Have you tried your hand in the SME? Yeah, uh, SME, of course, I have invested in uh, three companies in SME and uh, there are so many a fake account opened in my name with my picture and with my name on Telegram and Facebook and WhatsApp and Twitter and and uh, so all these social media and all. Although I do not advise people, neither I take money or without fee and with fee. I'm not an advisor. I don't advise, but people have opened this account and there is a froth in SME, uh, 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 no doubt about it. But the same froth you will find in uh, secondary market also. You know, but that since now SME has become a, a fashion, uh, become a trend. Now so many companies are coming every month. Obviously, there would be not that 10 out of 10 companies will be very, you know, all those 100% perfect. There would be uh, some uh, fraud, there would be some uh, manipulation, but that is also in the secondary market also. So it is your wisdom. You should avoid those kind of companies where you find that there is some uh, froth or there is some euphoria. You should avoid that. That is your wisdom. If you don't understand this thing, then you better invest through a mutual fund. Don't try your hand. So for a new beginner, you wouldn't recommend all this small company, SME? Uh, should, avoid. Would, yeah, should avoid. Should avoid. Should avoid because they do not have that kind of uh, education or wisdom to understand. They should avoid all this. Not only SME, even the secondary market also. They should avoid. They should invest through mutual fund. They should learn nitty gritty of investing for three, four years. And then they should start investing directly into this market. So recently you uh, released one very interesting song and the line goes nine out of 10 trader losing money, bro. Uh, <laughs> but a lot of bro are investing money in FNO and in fact doing trading. So what would you like to tell them? Time will tell them. I don't <laughs> have to tell them. All my life, let me tell you, I must have written at least 10 songs warning all these investors to stay away from all these uh, short term things and trading and FNO and all. But nobody listens. And you know, the beauty is this, like somebody tells me, meet, uh, meets me at the airport, Aray, sir, I have gana suna. Kya apne gana likha? Then he says, sir, what do I want to do in the future? Tell me about it. Tell me about it in the trading. He asks me about it. So now I will ask him what I will say. I will put his hand on him. You have given me my reward. Nobody listens. I always say this thing. Without dying, there is no one. No one will go. No one will go. No one will die. So they will learn the hard way. Because there is no shortcut in this market. It is written on the wall. There is no shortcut in the market. No newcomer can ever make money. Making money is different, but retaining that money is another thing. So until unless you complete one cycle, bull or bear market ka cycle, until unless you give all the exams, you can't say that you have passed the exams, right? You have to give pass in all the subjects. Then calculate, total number is calculated, no? When you appear for the exam. So that is, that will tell their pictures, that will tell their uh, result and their remarks or marks. Sir, have you personally tried FNO? I read that you started investing while yeah. you were 20, 22, 23. I'm not sure if FNO was yeah, present. Yeah, of, of course, I have tried FNO. I have, I have made money in FNO. Then I burned my money in FNO. <laughs> and then I learned this lesson that uh, it is difficult uh, for me uh, to make money in FNO. Maybe I'm not made for that kind of temperament. So, and as CB says that 10% people are successful in trading, I think 1% people are successful in trading. The most of the people uh, who are uh, benefited uh, from this FNO are brokers only <laughs> and other charges, whatever charges you are giving. So they are your uh, they are fair weather friend. So the last question I have is on the PSU rally. So the PSU index has been you know doing pretty well for a while. So what do you think will be the way forward? I think future of PSUs are very bright because the uh, attitude of all these uh, the. Uh, key persons of, or, or the government uh, has completely changed. Uh, PSU should do well. I think as long as this Indian economy, we cannot imagine, I think, uh, this 30, 40 trillion economy of Amrit Kal uh, without uh, contribution of PSUs. So I think their future is very bright. But obviously this fall, rise and fall will keep on coming in the market. This froth will keep on settling. And uh, one has to be prepared for that. Then there is no problem. So, so the general election is coming and when the election comes, there's a lot of talk about how the stock markets will perform and you know where it, it will go. So what is your thought on, on the current you know, uh, stock, stock market situation and how it would react to the election? I think market is discounting that Mr. Modi or BJP is going to come. So this is what market is discounting. 
I think uh, so maybe usually it happens in the market but of course none of my investments are based on what I'm saying now usually it happens that as they say in the market then buy on uh, rumor sell on news so maybe this market is uh, rising before the election so maybe after the election maybe market uh, may react a little bit as i said this reaction and action will keep on happening in the market forget about that part and all so i think <clears throat> uh, market is now bullish and discounting uh, mr modi as a prime minister so and when i look at mr modi let me tell you the way the guy speaks the way he speaks the way he says ke india ko hazar saal tak ka reform hum lane wale hain so din aane ke baad mein mere ko lag raha some revolution is going to happen in india you know some animal spirit is awakening up and something big is going to happen even after the after the election after the new government is in place one line you would tell to new inv- investors treat market as a business what about one line to fno traders if you are smoking you may die in 20 30 years but if you are doing fno you may die next day remember this when someone wants to start with inv- investing what should he or she look at no i just said treat market as a business not like a casino it it is a line of uh, one of my poem also okay uh, treat market as a business not like a casino how many stocks should one own in a portfolio no it depends like if you are a new investor just entered into the market and want to invest directly then you can have 15 20 stocks not more than that and not should not be less than that also 15 20 sense x is currently 75000 points when will it reach 1 lakh within 3 years 2 to 3 years